All right, folks, I am extremely honored that so many tens of thousands of you tune in weeknights, 7 o'clock, to see InfoWars Nightly News. We're about, what, two and a half weeks into this now, almost three weeks? And uh, we are beta testing, we are building the TV show. And because I wanted to really get it out to subscribers of PrisonPlanet.tv and out to everybody else on the web when it purposefully leaks out to millions. I wanted to beta test to see what I wanted to do. And I think what we're going to be doing in the near future is basically a 30-minute news show where it's tight and focused so that cable systems and satellite systems that have already re uh, requested a show years ago will be able to pick that up. And then if they want another 30 minutes, then it'll go into special report. First, it'll be InfoWars Nightly News. Then it'll be special report with Alex Jones for 30 minutes after that. So really, it's an hour news show. I was talking about just doing 30 minutes, but... They've got like two hours of stuff lined up for me. Um, a lot of it's stuff I wanted to do all week that we got behind on. Basically, we've produced more news and more information than we can even cover in an hour. And we are getting some reports filed from Denver right now with some breaking news. That's why we're waiting to go uh, live with the official InfoWars nightly news. But I'm told we should be ready to go to break and come back and do that in about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, this is something special we're doing here. And I want you to know that we take it very, very seriously that you're spending your time with us. And I know you're spending your time with us out of the millions of choices that are out there now on TV and cyberspace because you understand the InfoWars family and the InfoWars team, complete dedication to defeating the globalist and restoring our republic and spreading the spirit of liberty, or what I call 1776 worldwide. I want freedom, I want free market, I want private property, I want the right to self-defense, I want the right to religion or not to practice religion, I want the right to the family and to be left the hell alone. And I'll be quite frank with you, I'm not a person that uses a lot of profanity. A few times in the last three weeks doing the show I have, and I, I apologize for that. It's just hard watching our entire society sucked into hell and to not get upset. We have got unbelievable information for you coming up tonight. The problem is when I start getting into this New World Order information, there's too much proof on every front. A couple days ago, I said, let's get more articles together and scientific reports on cancer rates massively increasing. Many forms of cancer have tripled. Overall, they've doubled conservatively just since 1980. And uh, they ended up with hundreds of articles and information, all mainstream in your face. But their answer is more chemotherapy, more radiation. Never a discussion about why are the rates going way up? And then you discover why. The sodium fluoride in the water, the mercury in the vaccines, but the cancer virus is also in the vaccines. And then you find out it's premeditated. and You get the Rockefeller Foundation documents we showed last night. And even Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, I said, Doctor, you've seen this evidence. Does it look like it's done on purpose? And I was hoping she'd say no, Alex. She said, yes, of course. I mean, she was disagreeing with me on that five years ago. I wish I was wrong, okay? I, I dearly do. And every time I see these TV ads about getting cervical cancer vaccines, which I know are killing people and is admitted, or every time I hear parents, you know, who uh, get scared and go ahead and vaccinate their children, I want to warn them. Just like if I saw some neighborhood kid walking across the highway, a two-year-old. I mean, I'd have a you know, huge heart jump in my chest, run as fast as I could to help them. I mean, we've all had things like that happen in our lives, where you see the neighbor kid walking out in the street and about to be hit by a car, and you run out and jump in front of it, and the car you know, runs off the side of the road, or you see a neighbor's house on fire, and you go and bang on the door, and they're asleep, and you get them up. I mean, we've all had those experiences. But see, the globalists know how to hide everything they're doing. They know how to do it covertly. And what they're doing is so diabolical, so horrific. And they always sell it to you via fear that they're doing this for your own best interest and you better do it or else. So many people just can't get their minds around what we're facing as a society. I am deeply tired at times, but I always have a burning desire and energy to come on the air and warn you. I mean, I do three hours of radio every day, two hours on Sundays, nightly news show, working with the writers on stories we're putting together, documentary films, other radio and TV interviews I do. 
And it's not because I'm some great and wonderful guy. It's because I'm simply trying to warn people about life and death issues. It's instinctive to want to warn you. It's instinctive to want to get out there and, and, and stop these people. I mean, it's all you can do. You're not a hero when uh, you, you're watching the news and, and they say a tornado has just touched down at the corner of Washington and Liberty or whatever the street is. And uh, you, you look out the window and you see your neighbors out front, uh, you know, their little kids playing jump rope or whatever, or neighborhood kids playing football. And you run out and say, hey, go get in your basement or get in your storm cellar. That's not, hey, pin a medal to my chest. And the reason I point that out is, folks, you're watching this information. You're going to see all the proof tonight. Peter Dell Scott's coming up, so much more. Tad Lumpkin uh, in studio. Very articulate, interesting fellow, promoting a spirit of liberty. <sighs> we know that when we let bad people take over society and good people stand out and do nothing, that we get nightmare scenarios. When you let the worst people in society take over, you're going to get the worst possible outcome. And so as they get ready, these interviews uh, with um, Aaron Dykes and Darren McBreen, again, I'm just talking here uh, while we get things ready. And, and that's another reason we haven't gone ahead with the 30-minute show every night and kept it all condensed with commercials and the rest of it for television because we built the studio. We've set up the system. I, I did TV before I got into radio. But this is unscripted, teleprompter-free, and we're just, again, looking at a lot of different options. And, and also, we've, we've basically been going since September 1st. And so now it's uh, September 23rd, so I guess that is. That is three weeks. Uh, or 15 shows tonight. And last Friday, we only had one streaming option, and then, of course, there's the download after the show has, has gone out. And then we had a lot of technical stuff, and it didn't even go out to the next day. So that's why you notice this week we have three streaming uh, options for you. Uh, that's why you notice um, this week we have more download options. We're just adding more and more, making it more and more robust. And then we've got to put satellite uplinks in here. We've got to put these fiber optic upload systems of different cable systems. and Satellite systems want to pick it up, which have reached out to us over the years. There's just a lot of little legwork we've got to do because we're not a, you know, $50 billion company like Fox or Time Warner with CNN there with, you know, all, with, with, with hundreds and hundreds of people per floor bringing you package bull. You know, why, why is it important to say we're teleprompter free news? Like maybe give me a document cam shot unless you guys are in there getting those interviews ready. I want to show people something here. I want to draw people uh, a, a picture here. Uh, and, 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 and just give me a heads up. I see a lot of activity in there. What's our ETA till I should get lined up with all these articles and get ready to give people the nightly news? Okay, they tell me about five minutes. So I know the time we have. Now, look, let's say you have a president and a National Security Council. National Security Council. And this president and his advisors are financed and put it in the political race by the military industrial complex, by the giant banking cartel, and by big oil. And you've got religious institutions, you know, the Vatican, uh, royalty, you know, big groups. These are all interbred, interconnected, interinvested. So here's the big elite cloud above their puppet president, and that could be puppet prime minister, um, you know, whatever the case is. The Globals have written books about this, like Carol Quigley, uh, describing how they operate. When you have a National Security Council and unified propaganda, you have somebody like um, Cass Sunstein comes out, and he says, uh, and he puts out a public memo, like the public are animals and don't read it, 9-11 truth threatening our operation. We've got to finance people in the, me in the media, people that look independent, he even said that, to then make up lies about people and infiltrate their groups and get them in fighting. But, 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 but side issue. Why is teleprompter free news so important? Well, A, it's unscripted. And so it's people tend to give you their more honest analysis when it's not scripted. But more importantly, going back to this image here, uh, back to uh, uh, this drawing that got turned into Glenn Beck's chalkboard, um, and they're co-opting. You got the National Security Council, the propaganda arm. The elites basically tell them what they're worried about. 
their group of wise men, experts, come up with the formula, run it by their feedback, go for loops into the upper echelon cloud uh, of the establishment kleptocrats, the neo-fascist uh, social engineers. Then their, their, their executive social engineers come up with a battle plan that's agreed upon, and then they come out with talking points okay, on different issues, on science, on academia, on energy, uh, on social policy, on religion, World Council of Churches, uh, you know, is the subgroup that carries that out. And they've got all the, you know, big academic boards that centralize things. And they've got the military boards and the media boards. And it's all interlocking. And as long as you play ball down here in the general public, you're going to get elevated up into these positions. If you're articulate and prove in the lower levels that you know how to climb the ladder by regurgitating and repeating exactly what they say. See how that works? So the reason teleprompters are bad news is that they can send out talking points that are just rewritten vaguely, uh, just slightly, by the speechwriters who themselves want to get the bigger jobs, so they play along. A lot of the folks at the lower level just learn to go along with the establishment. Don't make waves, as they say. Okay, just go along to get along and you'll go up the chain. Be a yes man. Move up the ladder. Don't make waves. Don't make it bumpy. Make it smooth for them to screw you with their big juggernaut rolling downhill over you and your family. Okay? So, don't make waves. Go up the ladder. I'm going to continue with this drawing here for folks. So you've got this elitist cloud that formulates the policies they want. These guys come up with exactly how it's going to be implemented. Then to all the different sectors of society, and you get this in Trilateral Commission, Bilderberg, Club of Rome, um, Bohemian Grove. The, you get their own minutes. They don't even hide these, and it's all how they are got their agenda. And they get people together for a unified agenda. And they, and they get little disputes settled and other things like that in this, in this layer. Okay. Now... Once all of these groups, experts from academia, science, medicine, uh, military, uh, you know, all of it, media, they go on each other's shows and programs and basically follow the talking point. And so to make it all simple, the establishment through talking points can get a single message and send it out, and that's why teleprompters are so important. It's sold that there's a teleprompter because it makes it look slicker and you look right in the camera and it's convincing. And that's true. But it allows a unified message to be sent down to the little people down here. And through a teleprompter, CBS News, I'm going to show you this later. As soon as I saw this five years ago, I knew I could go do a Google search and see it in every CBS channel in the country. And I went and checked randomly and found hundreds and hundreds, and indeed it was true, the exact same newscast with the exact same text calls a news package. They send the video package down, and then the local newsreader, who they know is more trusted, reads that with the news package in front of them. About 80% of what you see at a local news station, and I know the guys here that have worked at Fox and ABC right here in town, is it true that most of it's sent down from the national level? Well, Marcos, come on over here. I don't. You're always saying you're willing to get on camera. Here, here. Let's bring John in here. He worked at uh, KXAN. I know you're in there running the show, but it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, t explain to people. It's not just a talking point, not just a teleprompter. Explain to people how this works. How you see your reporter, but what's been written in the teleprompter, the video package. Wh where did that come from? Uh, we would get a lot of news feeds from Reuters and AP, and uh, a lot of these people were just general reports labeled down. We would get a feed, and the producer would come in, take the story, and go, "Ah, here's my story." Chop it up in to fit in the time in the timeline they would have on air, and then put it into the machine, and the guy would read it. And all of the anchors who would come in would come in straight out of out of dinner or or uh, you know into the studio straight into. And that the allows it to have the local look, but it isn't. Now, what have yeah. you seen being here in the last few months? Uh, you're always running around reading, and you're like, oh, my God, here, I just read this. I need the details. I need the graphics for this. I, and you're always feeding me information. And then I go out, and I find more yeah, You feed me information. And then I do And then we increase our knowledge. And then you analyze it all on air, and uh, it gets more of a, a 
It's more of an, an analysis. It's not. A, it's teleprompter free, free, exactly like you said. Let me get a, a, your take on it, John. Thank you so much, Marcos. Yeah, Marcos uh, is exactly right. I, I was in news for five years, and I was a, mainly an editor, and so I would see exactly what you're talking about. They would send down the script. They would send down the video, and then they would read the little prepared script and take out all the good stuff you're talking about. And that's how we get to the point of all over the country, CBS told them mercury is good for children's brains. Anything else you guys want to add? John, you want to say something else? Yeah. Where's the camera? Right there. Pretty bright in here, isn't it? Hey, quit lying to everybody. Yeah, that's why all these guys say they wanted to come to work here, just because they wanted to be teleprompter free. And again, the local news people are like, well, it makes it easier and it's a news package. And Yeah, part of that's true. But you get newscasts where they tell you that Iran is Al-Qaeda when Iran is Shiite, the opposite of Al-Qaeda. It's two different Muslim groups that hate each other. Al-Qaeda is Saudi Arabia. Or they tell you mercury is good for kids' brains. We're going to show you what an electron microscope and scientists at Calvary University showed versus some dingbat reading off a teleprompter telling you mercury is good for your brain. Okay, uh, give me a break here. I'm going to try to get all this back together, and we're going to come back and uh, do this now that we've got our reports in um, from Colorado. Are we ready? All right, let me get reset here. Let me get my other documents. And I'll see you back this Sunday, of course, 4 to 6 p.m. on the radio. Why? Because if I don't get my butt down here and fight these tyrants and try to wake up every person I can, then I'm going to have everybody's blood on my hands for what's coming in this country. And it's the same for all you out there. They're putting cancer viruses in the vaccines. Who are they? We're going to name names coming up. Most people, they murdered your mama, they murdered your daddy, they murdered your son, your daughter. These are killers. It's time to start seeing them for the killers they are. We'll be right back with the official how long do we got it lined up here? If I do all these interviews and all this stuff, we're talking two hours? Okay, hour and a half coming up. At you. It's InfoWars Nightly News. I know you don't take this info for granted, but I want you to tape it. I want you to get it to everybody you know. I want you to get your neighbors over at your house, because when the show's over tonight, we're going to keep restreaming it and then archive it uh, after that at InfoWarsNews.com or PrisonPlanet.tv. And I want to thank this whole crew the last few months, not even really seeing their wives and children, but again, they understand there's no future if we don't beat these bastards. I'm Alex Jones. Coming up, InfoWars Nightly News, Friday edition.